Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about how to transplant an old rose. Now we all have roses that we inherit with the house or we get from a grandparent that we've had in our yard forever. And they're really special to us. But whether the trees get too large and they don't get enough sun or we're moving to another location and we want to take them with us, there's a lot of instances where we need to transplant them. And there's some simple rules that you should follow. So this rose was here when we moved in here and it's kind of to the edge and the deer are getting to it and it's just not doing that well. It's le reaching for the sun. So it's the fall and I think it's a good time to transplant it. So first of all, I wanna dig it out. But because it's been in here for a while, I know the roots are going to be quite deep. So I wanna go out at least probably a foot or more from the bush and dig down. And just very softly dig down. And I kinda work my way a little bit closer because you can feel if you're running into roots because the shovel will just stop. Now this is a blunt shovel and it's still gonna work, but sometimes having a sharper shovel or a pointed shovel would work easier. But when it comes down to it, you can move a plant with pretty much any utensils. So the trick is just to work your way around the plant a little bit at a time and maybe moving some of the items that are in your way a little bit out of the way. That helps as well too. And of course, as I noted, the roots are going to be very deep. So it's going to take me a little while, but I just keep going around and around and around. And it still feels like part of it's touching something. So I keep trying to rock it. And at this point, it looks like it's grabbing into something on this side. So at this point, it's pretty loose. So I think that I could probably try to pull it off. I've got this piece of wood that's really not doing anything, so I'm gonna move that over. And because they're so sharp, you don't wanna grab it from the actual plant part. So I actually wanna work my way down and grab it from the bottom. Okay, so I have worked and worked and worked and I've actually got it out of there. And sometimes it's a challenge, but the trick is don't give up and just keep working its way out Make sure though that you don't chop the whole thing off. You need to have that root to grow again. So sometimes under frustration, you might just break it off. But make sure and be patient. Dig all the way to the end and you will get those beautiful roots to grow again in another location. So the trick with roses is make sure and replant them as soon as possible. Never leave them out of the ground for too long. And you'll find they'll grow beautifully anywhere else as well.